start with the cutscene. Make the intro look cool and all that other bullshit. Alright, let me see. Is the audio at a good level? It seems to be. On the first day. What happened on that first day? Man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. On the second day. Upon earth, wait what? Upon earth was planted, and they were, okay, whatever, I'm done. My voiceover sucks, I'm done. It went by too fast. I fucked up. But anyways, hey, look, it's Damon Souls. Demon ex machina souls. Demons is souls. That's your most fucking <laughs> I'm gonna shut up because I actually just wanna watch the Red Team for Hot Mom. So it all starts here, right? The souls likes, the souls borns, the uh, other game that nobody remembers the name of because it was bad. What what the fuck was the name of that game? The one with like dwarves and shit or something? Like it was, it was like, you know, it was a souls like game or wanted to be a souls like game, but fucking, what was it called? What was it called? Lords of the Fallen? I think that's what it was called. Right? Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. I never really touched that game because it looked like ass. And then I heard that it was ass. So, <laughs> never touched it. I have brought me. I have brought myself. Some iced tea. Usually, I don't really drink. Uh, I don't really drink my calories, but tonight, I feel like doing that, so that's what I'm doing. Alright, so hi, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to Demon Souls, or Demon's Souls, or Damon Souls, or Daemon's Souls, however the fuck you want to say it. Um, huh. <sighs> <laughs> that that says a lot. That that sigh. Um. Oh shit. Stop. Stop. No. Stop with the stop with the cutscene. So, Demon Souls. I played it before, right? I think the last time I streamed it was literally when the PS5 came out. Um. I think that was the only time I ever streamed this game, honestly. And um. Let's see. Go online. Stay offline. Uh. Shit. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go online, right? But, when it comes to this playthrough, we're not gonna really be doing much of the PvP stuff, because this game has world tendency. But it is nice to see, like, messages here and there, I guess, right? Body type A, body type B. Hmm. What do I want for my character, honestly? I, I really didn't think too much about it.
I think I want to play a girl when we do Bloodborne, right? I'll do I'll do a guy right now. I'll do I'll do I'll do a bitch man, right? All right. Glass. Oh shit! I didn't think about what a uh, build I want to do. Damn it. Uh. Ooh. Am I going strength build or am I going dexterity? Ooh. <laughs> I didn't think too much. All right. But Demon Souls. When it comes to Demon Souls, I have played this game before. I'm not gonna pretend that I haven't. Um, but I've actually never beaten Demon Souls, so I would like to do that this playthrough, right? That would be nice. Not only that, but, um, I want to get to Dark Souls because I got a plan for Dark Souls. And by plan, I mean, I, I, I practiced Dark Souls. I practiced it because there's a certain playthrough I want to do. But in order to get to Dark Souls first, we got to play Demon Souls. Because once I touch Dark Souls, I'm not going back. Uh, <laughs> even though I love Demon Souls, this is a good remake, by the way. If you if you like the Souls like games and you never played Demon Souls and you got yourself a PS5, pick this shit up. It's worth it. All right. So what are we doing? Hmm. Vitality for the most part never really matters. Uh, intelligence. I'm not really going crazy with magic. Ooh. Intelligence and magic are two different things. Oh, and magic and faith and. Faith is just for learning spells and shit, right? You don't really need too much. Or... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I know in Demon Souls, magic is pretty much overpowered. Um... Actually, you know what? Fucking... We're not going... We're not gonna go... Uh, we're not gonna go night. Mainly because there is something I want. Character. I think I, I'm gonna go magician for that. Yeah. I, I think magician is, wait no. No. Royalty. Royalty is where I wanna go. Let me see. Intelligence twelve. Dexterity twelve. Ooh. I guess I'm going X build. Uh faith twelve. This magician. Intelligence fifteen and during Why the fuck does why the fuck does the magician have more endurance? Okay. And oh well, because magi okay, royalty is like mamby pamby fucking bullshit. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't think I need more. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, no, we're gonna go royalty. We're gonna go royalty. A person of royal descent who has officially learned spells commands the spell soul arrow with the benefits of a rare ring. Mm, yes, mm, the rare ring. <laughs> Put it upon my feet. All right, we're going royalty. Uh, soul remains. What is the gift that I would like to receive? It is item discovery. Da -da -da, grass jelly. Summon the belly. Right, water recovers MP. Um, so, and now uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with the uh, wonderful thing. Uh, it boosts item discovery, but I don't. Hmm. I'm not really gonna be. You know what? I'm not really gonna be using that ring anyways. Oh, something that radiates a guiding light. I don't know too much about Demon Souls, alright, so don't get on my ass about it. Serves as bait, soul star. Oh, well. Fire arrow. Eh, I guess the ring is probably the best thing to do. No? Uh, I have a save create. Oh yeah, I think I made this when the game came out. Right? I was like, that's the closest to what I look like. <laughs> uh, foundation. Find the foundation of the character. Type B. File. Oh. Yeah, either the either the female animation or male animation. Hmm. I like I like big burly voices. Yeah. <laughs> 
You had to, right? Got to. That's how you entertain yourself. All right. I mean, they don't sound that different to me, honestly. We'll go with voice E. How about that? Uh, da 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 da. Parents. All right. So this is gonna. This is this feels weird to like um play honestly because I don't have my glasses on me and for some reason I can't find my glasses and it makes me very very sad and I feel like <laughs> I feel like uh I can't see shit half the time so I'm very young I'm a young boy age how old am i don't tell anybody wait what do you mean by weight like oh you mean like character weight oh face weight okay eh, whatever uh, that's fine face what type of face do i have what kind of pokemon are you how do you do the things you do you know what? Fuck it. It doesn't matter. We're not really going to be looking at our character too much, so I guess I'll just use the free, the free save thing. Uh, um, fuck, I use it. This slot already has a certain save to it. You like to breathe? Appearance. Probably fix the hair now. Because I remember at the time I did this, I was tying my hair up. Now, the type of hair that I'm rocking is very, very stupidly long for a guy. Let's see, what's the longest? What's the longest we got? I am rocking a ponytail right now. I will say that right now. I actually am rocking a fucking ponytail, and it does go down. <laughs> it does go down to my back. I got a lot of hair. I really do. Uh, pretty close, right? And uh, I wish I can do this. I like the way that's coming up. I've never did that in real life. I would say this one's closer because my hair is more. So it looks a lot more. I do got some long ass fucking front end. Not gonna lie. Go with that. You can go with that, right? You can go with that. Facial hair. Oh, there's multiple. That was sweet ass man. Facial hair. I would say it's fuller than this, right? Why does this side look so weak? beard I'm rocking right now it's fuller than this it's not it's not quite this though definitely not that's pretty close I look like a hobo decals uh eh, we don't need none of that shit and environments yeah whatever finalize doesn't matter oh please enter the camera da -da -da -da. Uh, enter your character's name. What the fuck will I name this guy? Um, hmm. The Adventures of Bjorn. How do you spell Bjorn? <laughs> Bjorn.
Bjorn. But why? Why the name Bjorn? I don't know, because Hjorbin Bjorbin. That's why. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. How dare you penetrate? Don't you penetrate me. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. The old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless folk had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, yet the silent chief, Saint Urbane, Skurva the Wanderer, the sixth Saint Astria with her night gal Vinland, and Sage Freak the Visionary. Colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. A lone warrior? Oh, That's me. Found it savior, or have That's me. I'm a lone warrior. A I'm a warrior slave. and I'm all alone. Nobody loves me. Would you like to play the journey to the Nexus? Sure, why not? Fuck it. It's been a while since I touched the soul's like. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. I forgot how much the fucking PS5 controller rumbles. <laughs> All right, so not sure if you heard it, right? But I got up during that cutscene, honestly, because I have a, a spare pair of glasses that I fucking hate. But you know, playing games without my glasses on, I just feel it felt so weird, you know. Standard attack. Mm. Ooh, it's a thrust. Oh wait, you can angle it. Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. Oh, right there, sir. I was talking about you know what a thrusting motion actually pretty good for a souls game oh my bad i forgot you got a roll in your shit i also love how they kept uh <laughs> they kept a lot of things when they did this remake they they used like the original source code i think right so like they kept the button delay which is both both you know I appreciate, but also at the same time, go fuck yourself. Uh, oh, you can't fuck. I forgot. In in death, you can't roll diagonally when you're when you're um when you're targeting. God damn it! 
Trust the guard. Right, you can't roll. Oh wait, can you? Oh, can't roll diagonally. Maybe that was in Dark Souls. I don't know. All right, so royalty. You got this nice rapier has pierce attack. What I really wanted it for was this. This wonderful soul arrow, but I don't have to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't have to uh, commit to magic, but soul arrow is great to have, especially with the ring that comes with, um, whatchamacallit, fragment ring, this uh, stores MP, yes, which is what you want. Especially since magic in the demon souls is overpowered. Or shit like that. Drop anything? No, this is the tu tutorial, so you don't drop shit, right? So, you know, played DS. Played D I was gonna call it DS Souls. Played a DS before, right? And I wanna say the farthest I made it was like maybe at the end of. Uh, of the third world 3-3 three, three, when you gotta fight the monk and then when I did that since that one is like you fight uh users online fucking and since Dar you know Dark Souls PvP is not the best there we go Dark Souls PvP is not the best you know fucking it it is it was not a good time for me <laughs> especially since it uses the old ass uh Netcode, backstep. I forgot. Forgot we had backsteps. Alright, calm down, buddy. Gotta get my bed. Chill out. Chill out, just a little bit. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Demon Souls is the easiest game to parry in. Oh! How wrong was I? Let's try that again. Alright. What the fuck is the parry time for this shit? Put this grass in my mouth. There we go. Ooh, what that noise and shit. Uh, let me just head over to the audio real quick, because for the most part, Demon Souls is like nothing but ambiance, but... I still want the audio to be, you know, palatable. I guess is that the word I want to use? I want it to be nice. I want people to hear audio, right? Hear the game. I think that's good. I don't think it's too loud. Hopefully not. You know? Uh, touch the torch. Felt like I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Felt like I should have looked around more. Okay. Uh, strong attack. Yes. Oh, I forgot. You can two-hand weapons. Imagine two-handing a sword just to go... Eh, eh, right? I mean, you're not wrong, but still. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta get used to the parry timing. My mind is on, like, fucking Dark Souls 1 parry timing, because I played a lot of that. Played a lot of Dark Souls 1. And the way I played it, you need to learn how to parry. <laughs> you need... There is no other options. Of the Blue-Eyed Knights... Jesus, that scream. Alright, what does this say? Wield weapon with both hands. Yeah, yeah. Fight me, knight. Oh, what the fuck? Did you just, did you just faint on me, motherfucker? Faint? Faint? How the fuck did you say that word? What the fuck? Swing, bitch. Ooh. Ooh, I love the cool, like, you know, the cool, like, pose you do after the repose. 
Oh, I thought he dropped something. It's just the lighting. This game looks fucking amazing. Half Moon Grass. I think they did change a couple of things when it came to this remake. Uh, Catalyst. Yeah. I think... Yeah, they did change a couple of things, right? Like, you used to be able to uh, carry a bunch of healing items with you, but I think they changed that, and I think they might have changed something else in this game. I'm not sure. But other than that, this is pretty much the same. Do I just hop on over? Ooh, no. Where the fuck do I go? You're gonna have to bear with me. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played Demon Souls. And never actually beat it. Oh, fuck. Watch that boy crumble. Ah, oh, yes, the fog wall. Feels good. So. I do want to point out something, right, for those who are new to my stream or my channel whenever this gets uploaded on YouTube. If you're someone who is used to your Let's Players and streamers screaming and going, Oh my god, I can't believe it every five seconds, right? That, that We're not here to do that. <laughs> you're not going to get too many reactions out of me when it comes to the Dark Souls, right? Because to me, for the most part, I don't think Dark Souls is, is a... God, fuck. I sound like an asshole when I say this. I do think Dark Souls is a hard game. Time to die, by the way, while saying that. There's no way I'm gonna beat this guy. Uh -oh. I forgot the roll was on a delay. And there we go. Dark Souls isn't hard. Haha! <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get to hit the motherfucker. Now you're dead, and now you're in the Nexus. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Is that the girl? That so the wife? The world might be mended. In my soul, you can mend my soul anytime. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. You have died and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. There is no escaping. Alright. However, by capturing demons souls, 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 you can reclaim your corporeal body. Well, look at you being a big guy using big words. Alright, so. Now, listen. I don't know jack shit about demon souls lore. So, if you're someone who knows more than me, please tell me. Right? Uh, let's see, what is all this bullshit? Have your messaging. Your black required stat, your weapon. Okay, these are all like devs. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. But there are a couple of things that I do know about Demon's Souls, right? Number one, world tendency. That's a thing that exists. And so far as I know, in every Souls game, this is the only place where it really exists. Where it is the dumbest, stupidest fucking thing that they probably done in any fucking. I don't know, any stupid ass game. So, you see that little icon up at the upper left, right? That's your world tendency. It has multiple, multiple, um, what, what's the word I want? Statuses? States? Multiple states? Uh, you know, multiple states that it can be in, right? And the, even though with the, with the uh, remake, they made it easier to, you know, see what your world tendency is, like the symbol and stuff like that, for the most part, it's probably just going to look the same to you for the entire time, right? So, what does World Tendency do? World Tendency 
changes uh changes um what you call it changes the uh spawn rate of items it changes i think it changes um the strength of enemies just a little bit i'm not sure about that it changes something about the enemies but more importantly depending on what your world tendency is you can uh what you call it see certain events play out or have the ability to go check out certain events now what you really want with your world tendency is if you're white or if you're black so how do you get it well by getting pure black you have to just constantly die over and over and over basically be dog shit at the game in the game you know over time your uh, world tendency will turn to pure black right and you'll be able to get certain items, you know, fight certain people or whatever, NPCs or some other shit. Uh, there's also some creatures called, like, I don't know, demon, demon something, demon maggots. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Nobody cares unless you're going, like, real crazy about it. Um, and then there's pure white. Which is the dumbest shit ever. So, how do you get pure white tendency? Well, you get pure white tendency by defeating bosses right and not dying and overall doing pretty good and of course certain events play out depending on what your world tendency is now question is when you die and you go towards a black world tendency how do you get it back to white since there's only a handful of bosses in the game well that's where you do pvp right and pvp sucks in most souls games most souls games and in demon souls it's not that good so uh so a nice fun workaround for this which is why like touch the fucking blood stain i want to i want to see it oh guess i gotta talk to you right well you slipped through the fissure too did you you came for demon souls or to save this land and be remembered as a hero I won't be a hero. Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. Can I now check the bloodstain? There we go. Bloodstains, you can see what people were doing. I think this is the guy's bloodstain. Wait, no, it would be red, right? What the fuck? I don't see a <laughs> I don't see like a phantom I guess they might have like died before they even like hit down here you're gonna see a lot of blood stains in the hub and you're gonna wonder why um so blood stains means that another player came here and they died all these little phantoms run about me those are other players so that guy you know he's rolling about that's a that's a dude playing his own game uh what you call it you're going to see a lot of blood stains. You're going to wonder why the fuck are people dying in the hub? Are there enemies here and stuff like that? The answer to that, no. Uh, the reason you're going to see that is because a workaround for world tendency is that once you beat a boss, since the Nexus, which is this hub, you know, this hub over here, doesn't have a world tendency, a lot of people will head to the Nexus, run all the way up one of these staircases, and just drop to their death. Because they'll die, and when you're in soul form, no matter how many times, which we are in right now, you can tell you're in soul form because you got like this, you know, this blue aura around you, right? You don't lose world tendency if you die in soul form. You only lose world tendency if you die while you're in your real body. So people will hop on down and kill themselves. Try rolling. This is the way. Exactly. And everyone knows that. If you want white world tendency, which you do, pretty you know, pretty much most of the time, that's what you're aiming for, right? And because PvP sucks, everyone knows that you're just gonna run here in the Nexus and you're gonna kill yourself. So you're just gonna do that, right? Now, that dude's carrying the Dragon Bone Smasher. I think that's what it's called, right? So let's talk to some of these NPCs. I'm Stockpile Thomas. Hi, Stockpile Thomas. 
When the scouts came, I didn't know what hit me. Whenever you talk to NPCs, make sure your hands are firmly away from the trigger button, the attack buttons, because you can kill them, and they will not come back. And daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. This is Stockpile Thomas. He stores your items. And guess what? Later on, you're not going to need a uh, fucking... Well, by later on, I mean like in other Souls games, this character becomes super obsolete. Because fuck talking to characters carry my shit, you know? But let's see. Organized storage. What do I have? Unknown warrior soul, bunch of bullshit. Agitated soul, not agitated. Why I say that? Uh, all guide of soul. I think this is for so many people. Buckler, catalyst, blah 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 blah. You know nothing, nothing of note, right? So thanks, Doc Bob. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter, and fled. Like a coward. There's Stockpile Thomas. He's the biggest when coward to, known to mankind. I was in this the demons nest. came, so I left <laughs> I left I my wife and child to fend for these I said, fuck that, I'm not I married. Wish I could do more. But <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. He's like, I came to the Nexus and then I realized that since I don't gotta go out of the Nexus, might as well just stay in the Nexus. You see, the world out there is full of demons and shit. Best of luck to you. Oh, by the way, here's my favorite part about about uh Demon Souls. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any Oh, really? You're not gonna say anything? I would be happy to lighten your load. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days here. She says very little, but a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. Poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. If only something could be done to help her. I guess Thomas is such a coward that he won't say anything. Because usually... Mm, you knew here. Ah, oh, damn it. Usually when you walk away from characters, they'll be like, Hey, motherfucker, I'm talking to you. Mm, you knew here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. Hi, Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons... You can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? Pretty cool deal. All right. Talk to if you haven't heard, there's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stone Fang Mine. Stone Fang Mine. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in the town of soul starved men. If you do meet him, no, forget it. That stubborn old near the will will just chase you off. There aren't enough smithing tools in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain ores can be used to forge weapons. So you'll just have to make do. And be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. And be thankful that right, I can cool. do anything for you. Don't you always want to tire out dialogue for your NPCs in a Souls game. Alright, cool. Uh... Oh, it's you! Oh, Umbasa. Umbasa. Oh my, how has this happened? Has God abandoned us for King Alat? Failing to show proper respect? Oh, Umbasa. Oh, Umbasa. Oh, Umbasa. 
<laughs> Every time you walk up to her, what do you got to say to me today, girl? Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. <laughs> uh, Alright. Over time, you know, depending on what you do, you'll get more NPCs to talk to here in the Nexus. Uh, let me run over here. I think there might be one more character. I could be wrong. Shouldn't there be like a, a loser somewhere around here? Or does he just show up later? I think he might show up later. <laughs> no one's going to be up there. Let me just check over here to make sure. Yeah, no, I think that's all the characters in the uh, hub for now. Even the, even the maiden in black, she's not... You can't talk to her right now, I think. You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? Bah, it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. All right, so here are the um, archstones, right? Archstones basically work as you know your level select. You may notice that this archstone here is broken. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We'll never go here. Apparently, I think this place was supposed to be the land of the giants or something like that. I'm not sure, but most of the stuff that they planned on using for this, they fucking they uh. They, uh, you know, did stuff with it in, like, either Dark Souls 2 or fucking Dark Souls 1. I forgot which, honestly. I don't remember. But if you ever want to look up, you know, some of the uh, stuff that didn't make it into the game, look that up on YouTube. It's actually really interesting. And the only reason this is actually not finished is because I think they just didn't have enough time to finish it. So it all went to the wayside, right? So each world has three, you know, three like chapters, I guess, three acts to it. You know, you have Balataria, Stonefang Mines. Um, this is fuck. Archstone is sealed. Well, you can only head to fucking Balataria right now. Uh, this is wait, which one is this? Is this one the uh the the imprisonment? area I think I don't know <laughs> this here is the land of the dead I think I don't fucking remember all the names and this one is shit town it's not blight town it's shit town and by shit town I mean it's literally covered in feces all right gates of Baltaria only place we can go so get there and let it begin the descent into madness. That's a dragon. Alrighty. This is an archstone. Basically, it's your bonfire. If you know what a bonfire is. Basically, your checkpoint. You're going to want those. It's going to restore your health and your items. Well, not your items. My bad. That I'm thinking about. It's going to restore your health and your bullshit. Uh, you teleport back to the Nexus and stuff like that. You know. It will also respawn the enemies in the area, so be wary of that. Why am I two-handing? Alright. So, just in case you didn't notice, up at the top left, we have a green bar, blue bar, and red bar. 
Red bar health, right? Your health will be halved when you are in soul form, so be wary of that, right? But later on, I believe there's a ring we can find somewhere that will, you know, help us. Um, no, I didn't want to touch you. I want to touch the blood stain. There we go. This guy stood here and took it, so I guess he wanted to die. Either that or he, or his mom was calling him for dinner. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's no pausing in this game. If you're looking closely in the background, you can see that, yeah, everything's active all the time. Right? So, coming up here, you're gonna... Ooh, shit, did it. My bad. I got flipped turned upside down. So, coming up here, you're gonna get your first... Uh, where the hell? Look at him shamble about. Ah, damn it. I want to parry it. Oh, shit. I <laughs> my wand out. Not bad. Thanks. So up here, you're going to see your first instance of World Tennessee events. This gate is locked off to us. I believe you need your white tendency to get through here and then you will come back and this gate will magically be unlocked right but that won't be until excuse me that won't be until like a uh, you know a good while from now so if you know anything about demon souls dark souls like games you probably heard how hard and difficult they are and how enemies constantly sneak up on you and blah blah blah. That's actually... Eh, hard is very subjective. In my opinion, like, Dark Souls, Demon Souls games are all about animations and invincibility frames. You know, of course, the stamina management is a big part of it too, but once you... Once you see what the people are doing, you can pretty much react uh, accordingly to what, you know going on right that's why usually when you see like someone on youtube or something go like oh my god the boss is so hard and they're just rolling all over the place right because they're not really thinking about what the fuck they're doing you know i sound like a complete asshole by the way <laughs> i know how much of a dickhead i sound like where it's like mm, people don't the game is so easy, it's just, people just don't understand, right? So, here in Demon's Souls, there are mainly two elements you're going to worry about. That is fire, and the other one is magic. If an enemy's not weak to magic, then they're weak to fire, and vice versa. And that's pretty much all you need to know. There are other types of damage things as well, right? Um, I don't think there's lightning damage in this game no that is that is dark souls that is not demon souls but each weapon has their own type of damage right so rapier here has pierce right they're slashing weapons and blunt blunt weapons as well and for the most part for the most part you really don't have to worry about it because again if enemy is not weak to one if it's not weak to fire then it's weak to magic and if it's not weak to either, then chances are using, chances are, you know, just whatever weapon you got on hand is probably going to, you know, be pretty good or whatever, except in some few instances where, you know, obviously certain attributes wouldn't be good. For example, there are skeleton enemies. Guess what skeleton enemies are weak to? Are they weak to blunt, slash, or pierce? You do the fucking math in your head. I'm pretty sure you're smart enough. Right? And if you're thinking slashing, of course, well, you're fucking wrong. And take your ass back to school, please. I can barely see that arrow. Alright. So, you can... A little slow-ass arrow. You can manually aim shit, right? Depending on how good you are.
I will say though, I'm gonna have to get used to the button delay for the roar. And before you go like, oh, this game has lag or whatever the fuck, you know, if you're not doing an, if you're not doing PvP, right? If you're not fighting online, then the game doesn't have lag. I'm gonna tell you that right. Now. The delay on the roll is intentional. Don't worry, in later games, it will be better. But in this game, I think this probably has the biggest delay on your roll. But that's why you have a shield. Now, different shields will have different, you know, levels of, uh, not durability, I want to say. Even though your weapons do have durability. Uh, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about them. Um, but your shields are going to have different levels of physical resistance, how much they can actually protect you, I guess. So this one, for example, head over here, my equipment, check it out. This one here says not, it has a fucking, damn it, <laughs> button. No, that's not the button. What's the button? What's the button? Uh, triangle. My bad. Do, 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 do. That is my stats. Here we go. Here's the stats of the item that I am looking at, right? No, these are my stats. Fucking hell. Item stats. Oh, they're right there. Uh, press square. Okay, there we go. All right. Where is the one? Physical damage, the blood, durability, da, 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 da. guard break, 45, fire. Is it guard break? I don't think it's guard break. Is it guard break? I might be thinking of like Dark Souls or something. Right? Physical damage. You can use the shield as a, as a weapon if you want, but why would you do that? I just want to run over here and make sure no enemies are coming after me or anything like that. Oh, yeah, no. Physical damage reduction. Duh. It says it right there. Reduction. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm like, huh? <laughs> you, can, you can use it to attack, right? You have attack power and reduction right there. Physical reduction says, you know, percentages, right? 90%. So only, you know... You're going to get 10% damage of what's happening, right? 10% damage or is it yeah, 10% damage of what's happening coming your way, you know, depending on how, how big that attack is, right? You know, one of my favorite things that they do in Dark Souls is if attack is so fucking big, just to show you how big and strong an attack is, if you have like a 100% damage reduction uh, shield and the enemy is just so damn strong, your character will visibly be knocked off their feet, but they won't take damage for it. Right? Like, you can see that later on in, like, either Dark Souls 1 or 2. I forgot which one has, like, an enemy that can just really fuck your shit up. But, like, it's like, you blocked it, but it took everything you had to block it. <laughs> right? Which is, like, one of my favorite things. You know, the... You know, when, like, an anime character gets hit... And they're sliding back, right? But they, but they successfully defended the blow. Oh! Ah! <laughs> well, hello. I'm just gonna do that. All right. The so Demon Souls. Is there another one coming my way? Cool. The so Demon Souls. The way their healing items work differently from all the other Souls games that you're probably used to. Healing items in this game are consumable, right? You have to go and get more. There's no flask, I believe, in Demon Souls. I don't think Demon Souls has a flask. Now, that led to a problem where uh, in original Demon Souls, people would just... I got used to that fucking parry. Oh shit, I did it, but I got scared. In original Demon Souls, people would just be able to carry as much, you know, healing items as they want. You know, the full moon grass and all that other shit. There's multiple different types of grass, right? Because they didn't weigh that much, right? Because it's grass. You're literally just picking up, like, you're picking up the grass right here and putting it in your pocket, right? 
But since they realize, oh no, we gave people too many uh, the ability to use healing so goddamn much. Here in this remake, I believe they changed the weight of, uh, not even the weight. I think they just gave you a hard limit on, um, on how much, uh, brass you can carry, right? They said you can't get too high off your own supply now. Can't be doing that. Now, we saw the parries, right? But one of the things that I failed to show is the backstab. You go behind the enemy and you press the attack button, and you get a nice cool animation, you get some invincibility frames while doing it, enemies will not be able to hit you out of it. And you know, big, big old damage. Biggest damage ever. The only times you won't be able to really do a backstab is if the enemy is like, you know, there's a phys there's a reason why you won't be able to do a backstab, like say like, like you're fighting a giant or something. You're not gonna be able to backstab a giant because it's a fucking giant and you're human, right? Um. And bosses, because if you were able to backstab bosses, then why the fuck even, why even play the game? The game wouldn't be the Dark Souls of Dark Souls, right? I forgot there's a guy above me with a firebomb. Now, whenever people think about, like, you know, level designs with Dark Souls and Demon Souls, right? There's either, there's one of two things that they think, or one of three things that they think about, right? It's either, you think about... Demon Souls, in which, oh my god, in which, uh, like, here in Boletaria, which is the first place you go to, is, like, writhed with, like, fucking traps and enemies waiting around corners and shit, and that's what people think about Dark Souls. That's why when you played fucking, if you played Jedi Fallen Order, fucking, like, throughout the whole entire game, there's just so many enemies hiding in corners because they're like, it's a Dark Souls game, duh. Right? Oh! I try to I try to roll out the way. Right? That was a I gotta get used to the delayed roll. Oh now his back is to the wall. And that's that block. You saw how much you saw how I still took damage for that? Right? I should have got a backstab on that, but you know. Tell how I still took damage for that firebomb, because it was strong enough to get through my shield. But his little dink off my shield wasn't strong enough, because he's a puny human. Right? What do you got to say to me? Don't go forward without nothing. Shut up. Don't you tell me what to do. I'm a big man. I'm a big strong man. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to gauge like where the guy was at he's directly above me okay now there we go hmm. is this not the okay I guess it's further in that guy. Now this is really dangerous because the enemies are active behind me and I'm putting my back to them. You can get backstabbed yourself. So, be careful. Don't be too relaxed around here. Right? Have your butt cheeks firmly clenched at all times. And this is why Soul Arrow is amazing. This is why I wanted to use this class. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're, he's running all- Ooh, look at that magic linger. Hold up. Oh, man. Because that's stone, right? And that's wood up there. But you see it, like, linger, like fire. Did he really just turn the corner just to throw bombs at me and not actually do anything? button <laughs> all right um but like i was saying earlier they either think of demon souls where it's uh you know a shit ton of uh traps and stuff in like the first area because you really don't see that much of it later on at least in my opinion right 
They either think of that, or they think of Dark Souls 1, in which it's just shortcut porn. Which means, like, you'll go, like, <laughs> you'll travel, like, you'll travel, like, a fucking miles at a time. And then you'll head to one area, and it's like, here, there's an elevator here that leads from here all the way to the main area that you want to be at. And you're like, oh my god, thank you so much, I love you. Right? Like, that's what they think about. Or it's Dark Souls 2, which nothing makes fucking sense about, you know, in terms of how relatively close they are. Right? But since... You know, the Dark Souls, Souls-like games have the reputation for being so difficult, right? Since they have that reputation, most of the people just think about Demon Souls. Ow. That hurt. Why'd you do that to me? Why'd you do that? It's not fun. See how fun that was? Not fun. Are you shooting at me? Bring it on, big guy. That wasn't a backstab? Are you are you fucking are you serious right now? Should have gotten that backstab. Oh wait, there is a guy shooting at me. Oh my god, you blend in the background so well. Come on, shoot. I can shoot too. <laughs> Get that moon grass up in there. All right, I think this leads to the red eye knight. I'm not sure. Yes, that is the red eye knight. Time for running away. Oh boy. I can take him on. There's really honestly, even if you beat the red eye knight, I don't think there's anything of note back there as of right now. So there's really no reason to. Unless you just want a challenge. You know. I think you need to. Either need to like do a side quest. Or something like that. Right. There's really no reason to fight the Red Eye Knight. I guess it's just to prove how. How awesome you are. You gotta be like right behind him. Huh? Why am I not getting the backstab on this? Oh, I think I know why. Because I was pushing up on the analog stick. Put that grass in my mouth. Alrighty. Over here. Fire bombs. I'm actually going to equip that. What does the fucking Noble Lotus do again? Oh, yeah, poison. You don't need that right now. We're not gonna deal with poison right now, so firebomb it. Firebomb. Wait, why was, oh, because the light's coming through the window. Way to burn yourself, idiot. But down here, there's like uh, urns, I think, full of like oil or whatever. And oil and fire, bad. Unless you're cooking something delicious. Oh shit, you're not dead. <laughs> Oops. Over here, you wanna... Oh god. There you go, you wanna cut these chains. Because two bodies down there will fall and they have wonderful items for you. Wonderful, wonderful. So delicious. Delectable. What happened to this guy? Well, you just got overwhelmed. Yo, he's carrying the adjudicator shield. <laughs> you got overwhelmed, buddy.
This is why you use soul arrows. That's oil in there. So, oh! Thought. <laughs> yep, I was afraid of that. That's why. <laughs> that's why I got. That's why I got a little jumpy there. That's what I was afraid of. All right. Hey, speaking of shortcut porn, check this out. Oh my god. We're back at the beginning. The cling ring. And here are the two bodies that we knocked off the chain. Jade hair ornament. I think that goes to a... Uh, I think we have... Who do we give that to? Do we give that to Thomas? Gotta make sure there's nothing in there for me. Alright. Armor. Okay. So here in the, uh... Sorry, I'm stretching. I have to stretch. So here in Demon Souls, right? Oh, this over cumbers me. Wait, why can't I equip this? What's the point of me not be able to equip this? Can't be because of the... Because of the weight. I thought they got away. I thought they stopped doing the, uh... I guess not. Here in Demon Souls, there are different time, types of equipment. Right? Some equipments are heavier. Some equipments, uh, you know, some equipments have more defense than others. Some equipments have more resistances than others. And then there are the equipment that only certain, that only, uh, that you can only equip depending on if your character is male or female. Right? Which I thought they got rid of that in the remake. I thought that was one of the things that they changed, but I guess not. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I know they definitely got. I know they definitely didn't do it again in fucking like uh, Dark Souls and stuff. Like that, but anyways, what's the cling ring again? I'm sorry, I forgot what the fucking cling ring is. Cling ring, less HP reduction, and soul foam. Yes, that's the one that we want. Ah, look at that. This is the cling ring. Love it as it loves you. Never take it off. You are married to this thing now. Right? Now, soul arrow here is going to be carrying me for a fucking long while, so I'm not going to get rid of my, um... You know, it's like, it's a free ranged attack, right? So I'm not going to get off... I'm not going to get off. I'm not going to get rid of my, uh, my magic ring, right? Uh, I want to... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Could I just straight up keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll straight up keep going. Let's do that. There's really no reason not to. Unless you're... Unless you're scared. Unless you're a big baby. You're scared. Look at my wonderful ponytail. Hop in the wind. Like in real life. Until I decide to go to sleep. <laughs> then you wake up the next morning and it's like smushed to your head. Alright. Do 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 There we go. Down here. I forgot what this guy's name was. Something of a Stora. Wow. No, wait, no. That I'm thinking of Dark Souls. What the fuck is your name? You're not Oscar of a Stora. Who are you? That was a bold leap. A surprise indeed. Something of Bolitaria. You are here. Pray thee, fend off these draglings. So, <laughs> in original Demon Souls, there's a fun thing I used to do, in which. You can kick him off the edge and make him fight down there. But this is actually part one of a uh, of a wonderful, wonderful side quest, right? And by wonderful, I mean probably one of the ones that people hate the most. I'm not going down there. You see all those fucking barrels full of oil? That's stupid. This is why you have. This is why you have soul arrow. All right. Now, once you're done killing these guys, he will hop down and thus begins... What the fuck? 
I land it directly in the fire. Uh, do yourself a favor. Do not talk to him. Do not, do not talk to him. Not right now. What you really want to do is continue onward. And clear out the area. Because if you don't, then he will get himself killed. And that's not what we want. So make sure you clear out the area up ahead so that this fucking idiot doesn't get himself killed and so that you don't... Ooh. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. What the fuck you turn around for? You had no reason to. I guess what, are you weak magic? There you are. Oh man, soul arrow, it's broken. Why would they give you this in the beginning of the game? <laughs> Put some of that grass in my mouth. Alrighty. I believe there are enemies over here, yeah. Like zoom. Turn around. Alright. Oh, just the sound of like just the sound. Of hearing your bones crunch. Hello, guys, it's me. Ah, you made it through. There we go. All right, I think there's another area over here, maybe that he can. Walk on over to yes, over here. You want to clear out this area too? Oh, oh, god damn it! How you want to clear out this area? Alrighty. Got these fire bombs. Look at all those barrels down there. So. Take a nice look at it. Yeah! I think there's like maybe one character down there that didn't die. Yeah. Oh, it's probably three of you guys didn't die. I don't know why I didn't block, honestly. Alright. Now with this area cleared out, we can go and talk to that dude. And the reason why I tell you not to talk to him before... Ooh. Shiny. The reason why I tell you not to talk to him before, uh, you know, clearing this area out is because he will then proceed to Walk, just keep walking, and get himself killed. Like, he'll fight, but he's not good at fighting, so. So you don't want you want him to die. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Astrava of Astrava. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Crash telescope. Telescope is good. Why are you swinging at the barrel? Now, you may think, oh, can I kill this guy? Well, guess what? You can definitely kill this guy. A, don't. B, why would you? I mean, C, I know why you would. But D, don't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, Astrava over here will take a nice little saunterly, pleasurable stroll, right? He'll head here, and he'll walk over here. In which he will assuredly, A, get ambushed over here, B, get shot at over here, and if he survives, he will lovely walk down here and fight all these fire-wielding motherfuckers in an area full of oil. Do you see how, how not good that is? <laughs> right? It is a side quest, 
and when it comes to Dark Souls and their side quests, you're doing side quests without them telling you you're doing a side quest, so you're doing the side quest, right? But this is part one of the side quest, so now you don't have to worry about them. As long as... As long as you, uh... I want to say as long as you don't die, but... But I don't know, right? I'm not sure what, what triggers him to leave the area, right? To, like, physically actually leave the area. Because I remember, um, I remember heading back to the Nexus and then coming back here and watching him just, like, get attacked. And I saved him, right, you know? And I was like, what the fuck? You're not even supposed to be here still, right? There was another time where, like, he straight up died. <laughs> but it didn't count for some reason. He wouldn't, yeah, he, he comes to this edge and he walks off. So you don't have to worry about anyone over here fucking with his shit. You know? But Strava, you wanna keep him alive. He's only gonna be walking around Baltaria, so don't really You don't gotta really when you head to other places you don't gotta keep an eye out open for him, you know? Keep an eye out open for him. Yeah, that's that's how you say it. Smart guy. Smart guy I am, right? Oh my god, Dark Souls, Demon Souls is so hard. Look how hard it is. Look how difficult that was. Very difficult. There we go. Uh, I think there's still possible builders above me. Take out my catalyst because I think there's a guy up here. And he can block my magic. But can you block this bomb? My throwing arm wasn't that good. Boom. Oh yeah, you can. Alright, so here in Demon Souls, don't worry about fall damage too much. And by too much, I mean as long as you're not jumping off of a like bottomless pit or anything, you'll pretty much be fine. Now there's a guy up there who's gonna be can I parry you? Oh! Parry timing, not good. Now, good thing I got this rapier, because he's fully clad in armor. But it doesn't matter when you get that backstab in there. Late moon grass. Oh! Had that equipped. Gotta... Gotta make sure I don't. <laughs> gotta make sure I don't do that. That was like no song, I just came up with it. Oh wow, he actually went over the edge. Usually he lands before the ledge and survives, pretty much. I think I got rocked. Alrighty. Check your sides. Always check your sides. And here's probably the thing everyone remembers in Demon Souls. If it's not that first boulder, it's this, right? So here you see a rack full of boulders, right? You also see, fuck, do these fall from here? No, those stay up there, but these come out, right? So I forgot what activates this, honestly. Oh, no, I remember. What happens is that you will come out, right? And there's enemies down there. You can see that guy over there. There's an enemy with a crossbow, I think. And he shoots. And if it flies past you, it will hit this. And this will happen. My bad. You gotta hit this. And that would kill you. <laughs> and that's what everyone remembers. Because it was overkill. Because you would walk down here. Crossbow boat will go flying past you. And you'll be like... You'll block it, and you'll be like, okay, and the next thing you know, a bunch of boulders are killing you. Probably one of the best fucking traps they ever made. Right? These don't, these don't come loose. These stay there. Right? <laughs> Avoid boulders. Yeah. Be wary of enemy traps. Rock. Nice. 
So off in the distance over there, you can see a blue dragon. Dragon, dragon. Rock the dragon. Dragon ball. Oh my god, did you get crushed by the boulders? Oh yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you got crushed by the fucking boulders. You are dead. This is pro- Dude, this is the funniest thing, right? This is like, you know, JoJo Part 3. Fucking Abdul walks up. He's like, what's this message? And it says, by the time you read this, you are dead. <laughs> and then fucking, what's his name? Vanilla Ice just shows up. Vanilla Ice. He just shows up and fucking kills Abdul. Right? God, these are the best boulders ever. I love them. My favorite boulder. What's that? An enemy? Huh. Oh, what the f Did he kick me? <laughs> Was that a kick? You're a fast one. Wow, that was terrible. That was terrible parry timing. I forget that ever happened. Erase it from your mind. Pay attention to how lovingly my ponytail jiggles, jiggles. You know? I love my ponytail. The dragons are near. They are. So we have a red dragon and a blue dragon. Blue dragon. Eh, you gotta worry about the blue dragon. Red dragon, however. Red dragon's our friend. We love the red dragon. Especially when you walk up here. And the red dragon. Come on, do it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> now, I believe Don't forget to press on Now, up there There's some pretty good stuff Especially near that blue dragon But this is another world tendency event In which I believe if you get pure white These dragons won't be here Now, alternatively You can actually kill these dragons Right? I'm not sure if you can do it from here Oh god My soul arrow doesn't go that far, does it? Yeah, no it doesn't but you can do it uh, from a certain bridge with a crossbow. You might be able to do it from here with a crossbow too. All right? So you can kill these dragons. Even though you never actually fight them in the game, like actively fight them, you can still kill them. And of course, they have like their own special swords. Now, Red Dragon is going to be bombarding you with flames up here. Down here, you don't have to worry too much. Look forward to treasure. Blue dragon doesn't hurt you, I believe. And if it does, then fuck. Huh? Archstone shard and... Crescent moon. Okay. Not crescent moon. My bad. Full moon. But be careful on this ledge. Right? Over here on this ledge. You can't fall off. You will die. Now, if you time it oh so wonderfully, you can get like maybe one or two items right and then run back but they're not worth it so don't risk it don't do that don't do that think about it for a moment right think about it are you thinking about it think about it then do it in your head don't actually do it in real life <laughs> and you'll be fine you'll be fine nothing bad will ever happen to you but don't worry this isn't the last time you'll see the red dragon was it worth it was it everything you hoped for oh shit all right, so step on this fucking bri ah, step on this bridge. Listen to the dragon and run your ass over. Oh fuck! This is what I hate about this dragon. He doesn't do it unless you fully commit. You gotta bait the dragon because he only cares about you. Really, dude. There's a whole ass dragon coming. And you're worried about me? Thanks for ruining my life. Come on, start breathing fire. Oh! You fucking tease. You bitch. Ow! Fuck.
What if I just stand here? I hear you, dragon. Come on. Where the fuck? Where are you? You really want me to go on this bridge, huh? Come on, do it! That's what you want, that dragon. Now, if you really have patience, you can literally sit here and just shoot the dragon. Right? But we're not gonna do that because I'm not a patient fellow. Dark Souls. Demon Souls. My bad. So. God, I always fucking hate doing this. You gotta make it across that bridge. So step away. Make sure that dragon's gone for a bit. Oh my god. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go a little bit further back. Just to make sure. That, that you're gone. <laughs> Man. They love doing this shit so much that they brought it back in Dark Souls with more dragons and more fire. So once you get up on this bridge, run your cutie patootie over here. Your cutie patootie, Rudy Tabooty. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Now, surprisingly, these guys survive somehow, even though they're literally sitting in the path of the fire. I need business, Dragon. Oh, there's an item down there. I want it. I'm not getting it, though. Alright. Pat yourself on the back. You survived the bridge. Let's move on. Unknown warrior soul. <coughs> I just took a sip of iced tea and I almost fucking killed myself. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. Oh shit. That's not good. Alrighty. Say hello to our- Oh! <laughs> I forgot! I forgot about you, bastard. Is there a third one? Listen, like I said, played Demon Souls before. Don't know everything about it. I love how he just kept walking for like a hot second there. Come on. I'm through here. Get some of this magic. Oh. oh I wanted to parry it. Damn it. I want it to be cool. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Why am I doing this? I'm fighting him on his terrain. Half moon grass. Thank you. What the fuck does this say? There's a shortcut ahead. Oh, I like shortcuts. And you... I don't have my sword out. Gotta remember to do that. That guy. That guy fucking... Oof. Natural 20 on stealth with that guy. Just sitting there. <laughs> Alright. Come on, fire dudes. Too. I love Soul Arrow. Here we have what I believe is called the Phalanx. And earlier I said if your enemy isn't weak to magic, it's weak to fire. But this motherfucker's weak to both, apparently, I guess. I thought it was supposed to be strong against magic. Oh well. Guess I guess I can be wrong. You know, I'm wrong about certain things. Everything. <laughs> but uh Phalanx. 
They're uh, big old blobby boys. And they have a big old shield in the front of them. Which means, you know, by deduction and simple reasoning, doing that's not a good idea. What you would rather do, take out some firebombs and do that. But you're actually going to want to save your firebombs. This is why we have soul arrow, guys. This is why we have soul arrow. This is why you have soul arrow. Why would you never want soul arrow? I don't know. It's free. I'm talking free 99. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Half moon grass. And now, we get ourselves another beautiful shortcut. The true demon soul starts here. No, the fuck, it doesn't. It starts at fucking Cinder Demon. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the fuck it's called. Demon of Cinder, I think it's called. That's the true Demon Souls. <laughs> That's the true fucking Demon Souls right there. What happened to you? Who the fuck is this guy playing this game? This is the second time I saw this guy. And he's carrying the Adjudicator shield. <laughs> fucking, come on man. Can't be dialing... Dying in the first area of Bald area with the Juke shield. So here we have. Oh shit. I guess the boss is called Phalanx and the other ones are called Mini Phalanxes? I don't fucking know. So. Big old scary, right? You ever watch the movie 300? You know how. How Spartans would just get all on top of each other? That's basically what's happening here. This is why you have. Ow! This is why you have two things in your arsenal. Firebombs. To deal with them. With your nice, beautiful AoE. Right? You also want to be careful because the other phalanxes will split off and fucking, you know, just ruin your day. If you're not paying attention. My last firebomb, here we go. Right? That's why you have that, and you have this wonderful thing called Pine Resin, which I refused to talk about earlier. Pine Resin, what it does is applies an attribute to your weapon. Pine Resin gives you fucking fire. There's another one called Sticky White Stuff. Later called Sticky White Goo, I think, or some bullshit. Or Magic White Goo or some dumb shit. Because, you know, because for some reason you can have fun, can you? So, what's advised by me here? Is to deal with the mini phalanxes first, but you know, I'm also kind of hard headed, I don't take my own advice. Right? I really like this boss. I think this is a really great boss by the way, for like your introduction and how the game's gonna play out. Mainly because it's like, look at this big guy. He's big, he's slow, he's stupid, he can barely touch you. But guess what? You're gonna get your ass overwhelmed by all these fucking speeds. One of them's gonna hit you. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, but you're gonna get hit. Right? It also teaches you about resistances and shit, which is great. And, and fucking, uh, you know, character placement, I guess. Character placement? Is that what I'm gonna say? Enemy placement? No, not enemy placement. Uh, positioning. Because, like, guess what? They got big old shields for heads. So, don't hit the shield directly, hit them in the back. But the main boss. He's nothing but a goo with no shield. Right? And this is why we have soul arrow, guys. This is why we have soul arrow. Look at that. We got soul arrow and the magic ring. Oh, wait. Holy shit. I forgot. You're going to want to take... The other reason we're going to take care of these smaller guys first is because... Uh, because when they all attach back to him, he gets his health back. But don't worry. It's not going to And again... We got our magic ring, we got our soul arrow, we're not gonna run out of shit. Unless I'm an idiot and I just die from just getting hit by the spirit. Fucking stupid. Bit of a war of attrition going on. I'm gonna use my pine resin. Because I wanna kinda make it. What the fuck? Why can't I use my pine resin? Oh, I'm my catalyst is out. Duh. Get 
get all over here. Oh shit. You. Boom. Pick them off one by one. Also teaches you patience. Something that most YouTubers don't have when they play this game. <laughs> the game's so hard. Why didn't he do it? Oh, I'm gonna get fucked up. That's a bad place to be standing at. You know how like everyone plays like not everyone like that. You know how S and T fans constantly go like the game's not hard. It rewards pre uh, fucking being prepared. Even though that's soulfully not true most of the time. But anyways, this game's kind of like that. It's not that hard. Just fucking calm down and think about what you're doing. You know, it's almost like it's almost like if you if you use the brain cells that you got, you can, you can do it. Fuck. Or you can just straight up miss attacks like me. And talk a hell of a lot of shit. <laughs> Be a complete fucking idiot. I can I can hear the demon soul crows going. You didn't kill Phalanx yet? Come on. Just taking forever. What's also pretty fun about Oh my god, fucking I hate that backstep. That backstep bullshit. Gotta let go of the analog stick when I when I swing. Or I'll end up doing like a little backstep that I fucking hate and can't stop. So the boss itself is actually a bitch, right? You know, with that it's a little hype man's protecting him. See, look, enemy placement, right? Enemy positioning, right? See, because this guy comes off, and these guys are over here and they can't touch you, and this and the actual boss can't defend himself, it's a bitch. See, it's a great introduction, great introduction to Dark Souls. Demon Souls. Souls. Whatever you want to call it. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Great boss. Great boss. Underrated just because it's, you know, the first one. But it's amazing. And then pat yourself on the back because you did it. Guess what? You did it. You beat your first boss. Demon vanquished. You shall obtain the demon soul and power beyond human imagination. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. Right? And once you defeat the boss, you get a nice little arch stone here. Right? Pick up your demon soul. And head your ass back to the nexus. Honey, I'm home. The monumental awaits the above. I love the maiden in black. Who doesn't love the maiden in black? If you if you got like a fucking top ten Dark Souls waifu list. Top 10 hottest Sonic girls. <laughs> that stupid ass video. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Jesus. But yeah. Top 10 Dark, uh, Dark Souls waifus. If number one isn't made in black, then what the fuck are you doing? Right? She's the original. Anyways. Tell us the monumental is upstairs. What's a monumental? Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I want to say Demon Souls is probably like one of the only Dark Souls games where like, what's the lore? Eh, it doesn't matter because they're never going to continue this series. It got replaced by Dark Souls. So take your beautiful, beautiful sweetness up here. Do your cardio for the day. Put down that muffin. I see you. So you stop eating that muffin. You don't need the extra calories. Have a, have a glass of water. My god, fucking 
so many stairs. Touch the... Yeah, there we go. Did I go up too far? No. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. This is the online shit. Stupid leaderboards. Which are a fucking lie because most of the people up there are cheaters. <laughs> fucking... Where the hell? I think I might have went too far. Oh yeah, I definitely went too far. See, I'm lost. Yep. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I definitely went too far. The monumental is up. Hmm. 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 Farther up. I'll get there. I'll get there one day. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Famous last word. Where the fuck? <laughs> oh, here it is. So, fucking... Here's another thing that's pretty good about Dark Souls that I really like. You know, it teaches you to be more observant. Right? I'm pretty sure we all remember, uh... What's... Uh, what the fuck the dude's name is in, in Dark Souls? Uh, the dude with like, dude who looks like an enemy, and then you hit him and he goes, Why? <laughs> and you're like, Oh no, I didn't mean to. Right? But be more observant. You come up here and there's a bunch of little dead fucking monk people, right? And then you walk over here and you're like, Oh. Oh. That one. That one's alive. Kind of creepy. I love it. We have long awaited you. Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Oh boy, I love stories. Once, we too were a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Guess what? Souls? They're the awesome, man. Until some motherfucker said, Y'all got souls? And he came in freeloading and shit. The hands of the demons. And he said, you ain't gonna give me the souls, I'm taking by force. Let me get my boys. You were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls. And most of the world lost, erased. So by homeboy the and his friends was like, yo, give me all them In souls. Order to mend the fabric of what and we said, oh sure. Remain. And then we slipped him some lean, and now he's asleep. We entrusted six leaders with six precious arch stones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worship. Shaman or shaman? shaman. Don't look at that one. No, no, don't look at it. Look away. No, it doesn't exist. Don't look at it. No. No, don't look at it. We retconned that one. <laughs> we contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only you I You see, remain. the other monumentals, they weren't gangster enough. But me, I'm still here. By the power of the monumental, the four sealed archstones have been unlocked. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber, and seal it away for all eternity. If not... Deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? No. 
accept the mission? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. That sounds kind of racist. The why are you hating on demons? Without demons to feed its souls. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be on service. demon time. Remember that Go meme, guys? Remember prison. how old am I? <laughs> Demon time. You neutralize the old one and ban the soul arts. Then we spread the archstones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is ever short. And before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short sighted King Alant once again roused the old one. Is that it? Now keep talking, keep talking. The monumentals perished. Oh no. And the short I thought it, I thought uh, they died in front of you, you know? The homeboy just like slumped over and dies. I think they die when they, when you uh, leave, come back or whatever. But anyways, cool, we now have our mansion, uh, our mission, what? Why did I say it like that? We now have our mission, fuck, I can't even speak no more. We now have our mission. There we go. All right? To seal the old one. Because the king is a little greedy bitch. Got a little bit of the Midas touch going on. You know what I mean? Everything you touch turns to shit. But anyways, before you do all that, head on down. Talk to your homegirl. Brave soul for whom death is no fear. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Eye stone briefly connects diffuse world. Wait, what? Yeah, diffuse world. Should you lose physical form, remember the eye stone. So basically, she's like, "Hey, man, yo, if you want to be human again without fighting the boss, or if you just ran out of bosses to fight, fucking here, man, go into the go into the online world, help someone kill a boss, and become human, or fucking go kill somebody. I don't know, ruin their day." What is it? What is it? I want to level up. Seekest thou the power of souls? Yes. Seek power of souls? I love the power of souls. Of course. After all, thou requirest strength. Go ahead. Touch the demon inside me. Touch the demon inside me. <laughs> Alright. Seek power. Cool. Here's how we level up, right? I think there are maybe I'm not gonna say well there are obviously stats that matter more than others but they're not all bad the only one that's really like never worth it almost in every game is luck right because hello baby it's Dark Souls ain't no luck here right Demon Souls Dark Souls Souls born right Vitality, at some point, you're just not going to care anymore because it's not going to fucking matter. <laughs> you're like, I put like 50 points into Vitality and I still die in two hits. <laughs> Jesus. Endurance uh, enhances your stamina and equip burden. Strength and dexterity. Descale with certain weapons. I guess I might go... Mm. I don't know if I want to go for strength or dexterity build, and I don't think you can respec in Demon Souls. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. So in Demon Souls, pick what you want and stick with it kind of deal. So endurance is pretty good. Let's round that off to 10. Uh, vitality, round that off to 10. And magic, increases magic power. There are certain weapons that scale with magic. But at some point later in the game, you're gonna fucking basically start using strength or dex weapons. The scale of magic or fate? 
increases magic and private damage. No, I think it scales with magic, right? Uh, as for magic with me, how many how many points can I get? Okay, so three more levels for me. Uh, I do want to round it off to fifteen because I'm not sure if I want to go strength or dex yet. Hmm. Round that off to ten. I think this is pretty okay kind of round everything off right now yeah that's what I'm gonna do all right talk to me myself I'm only here to tend to each flame I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are very important here. all right I am. May thy strength help the world be mended. I will mend the world. All right. So with our jade hair ornament, I think we give that, that to Thomas. Me. That belongs to my daughter. Well, damn, dog, your daughter's dead because your coward ass left she her behind. Make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. May I ask a favor? Would you mind giving me that hair ornament? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Well, I mean, I got a sick-ass ponytail, and I kind of need to get my naps out of it, but... If you must. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mustn't forget. <clears throat> it's not much, but please, accept this. As thanks. I found it discarded on the main road. It might look ordinary, but it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Any useless bullshit that you give me. Uh, Ring of Herculean Strength. Oh, yeah, no, that, uh, that in increases our equip load. Our equip load and our item burden huh? I would be happy to lighten your load okay first things first you want to dump off things that you don't need so all the ragged robes we can't wear that can't wear any of this so uh wear the fuck where's the um oh there was no headpiece for it okay yeah um uh, Bolts. I'm gonna get rid of those because got my soul arrow. Uh, shoulder shields, buckler. You don't need soldiers. Bastard sword, nail breaker. We're not gonna use any of this shit. We'll check them out later. We're not gonna use them. Hard stone and shards. For the most part, you wanna store all your fucking shards and shit because you have, you know, item burden. And guess what? Carrying a bunch of fucking rocks in your pocket isn't going to do you any favors, right? Uh, what else we have? White Eye Stone, Nexus. Uh, you also want to put away your Demon Souls. Those are the ones with names on them and the fancy item descriptions. You know, most of your souls in general you just kind of want to put away unless you need them to level up. Demon Souls, the boss souls that you get, right? Like the Lead Demon Soul. These can be used to make weapons, Provided that you have the items needed for them, right? For the most part, I'm not going to be using any of the Demon Souls weapons. I think there's maybe one that I kind of want to look at because I never really got a chance to use. But other than that, if you're, you know, look up, look it up, see what kind of weapons you want. If you're not going for that, you might as well just cash them in and get your levels, right? But, um, let's see. The soul of the phalanx demon is a source of great power. Consumed to gain a number of large souls, certain demons can trans can transmute into magic, miracles, or weapons. Rest right. assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thomas, I'm uh, not Thomas. What's your fucking name? Uh, Baldwin. Whatever the hell your name is. It 
simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. I fucking trade, love his voice. I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons... Uh, yeah, Baldwin. He doesn't have anything for us, but make sure you just repair... Eh, repair all, because they usually just... Usually doesn't cost that much, Do so come don't back worry alive. about it. Oh, Mbasa. Back in the times I oh. was below Bonataria Castle, King Elant left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, keepsake of my grandfather, I may not keepsake have survived. Keepsake of my grandfather. Oh, Mbasa? Mbasa? If I did not have my mirror... Ah, no Mbasa. Damn it. Oh, here we are. Now after beating the first boss, we got some more losers to talk to. I have sinned. Yeah? I swore allegiance to Saint Urbane, but was of no use to him. And now, I have run away and abandoned his augustness. Is that, is that it? Our Lord, punish me, for I have not the strength to punish myself. I think that's it, right? Oh, deep within oh, shit. darkness, where no light shall ever shine, will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Oh, August one. Okay, there we go. Now he's just repeating himself. All right. Oh, you must be another disciple of God. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I, I kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> Not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. All right, we can learn miracles from this dude. Uh, for the most part, none of these miracles are pretty. Hides oneself from black phantoms. That's pretty okay, right? But none of this, I'm not gonna have use for any of this shit. A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. Miracles level up with they faith, right? Effects. So they level up with faith, and I think spells level up with evil, the magic. The other level is up clearly with magic good. Before. Well, no, they level up with. In hmm. the end, a mere servant of the demons. Level up, yeah, no, they level up with magic, but your intelligence. Does some other bullshit? I don't fucking know. Alright, well, I got no use for any of that bullshit. All I need is my soul arrow. What about you? Have you met the last surviving monumental? Yes, I just did. Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now, they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. Says the guy who doesn't fuck go anywhere. Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest you. The black-robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She is the morose one. With eyes sealed, compacted Dude, you're talking like wax. complete shit in like front of her. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons. And she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware. Do not decay into a foul beast. Maybe I will, you know? What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. At least we will be safe. <laughs> I love how this guy just fucking kind of just makes fun of all the people who gave up on fucking Demon Souls, right? And Dark Souls, right? It's like, you can either beat the game or you can be this guy and just sit here. Basically, he's mocking me, because I never really beaten the game. <laughs> but, um, 
you know. He's just like, yeah, don't worry, you just sit still, you'll be safe, nothing will hurt you. What's happened? Oh, right? He's like, why are you still in the Nexus, huh, buddy? What are you doing? This is a magician, buddy. To face the demons. If so, please free Sage Freight the Visionary from his cell in Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freight is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. He's like, listen, I got magical spells, but I'm too much of a bitch to use them. Master Freight is a great man who has systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he is likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Master Frake as soon as possible. So I love how this guy is just like, you need to save Master Frake. He's so powerful, man. I'm telling you. No, I'd never met him. And I'm too much of a bitch to go get him myself. But you got, come on, man. You got to save him for me. Maybe for you too. All the more reason that I wait. Where are you going? <laughs> wait, where are you going? I'm getting tired of your bullshit. All right, time to head on to the next area. But before we do that, we must do something that's very important, very important and paramount to this journey. Something that you must do every time you beat a boss. I don't care what you say. Run your cutie little booty up here, right? Take a breather. And run up here even more. And do yourself a good old favor. Right? And just... Yeah! Boom! Alright, now you're in soul form and your world tendency will be safe. And you also won't get invaded. Now, first thing I want to do is, no, this is Tower of Latria, right? No. I want to head over here. I'm going to do what everybody does. Did you think I was original? Fuck no. Alright, so here are some of the world's most annoying enemies. Fucking skeletons, right? And here, it's the first time you're gonna learn about resistances and shit. Now I have my beautiful soul. But soul arrow is only gonna take us so far, right? And to be quite honest, we're not ready for this area yet. So, we're gonna do this fun way. Time to learn how to parry, boy. Alright. Take one step at a time. You see how much damage that does? Let me tell you why. Because your fist count as blunt weapons. And guess what? Hitting skeletons with blunt force crushes the bones. Now we are here for one reason and one reason only. Make that very clear for you guys. We need to get ourselves a crescent finisher. Now it might take us a couple tries. Right. But I'm not going nowhere without my fucking falchion. Neither are you. So. Take it one skeleton at a time. Try not to rush it. Skeleton at a time. Uh oh. I 
need some space. Again, they can backstab you. You can backstab them too. So be careful. Be mindful. Can I sneak up on you? I think I can. There we go. Two guys up here. Are they both archers? Yes, they are. Let's deal with that. Uh oh, I just heard something disconnect. Hmm. My fucking my backup drive disconnected for some reason. That's weird. I think I'm not using it right now. Uh oh. There we go. Alright. The hell is this? Talisman of God. Renowned Hero Soul. Soldiers. Now again, I want to point out, we're not here to beat this area. We're here to get ourselves the Crescent Falchion. Avoid traps. Look at that. Your eyes peeled, right? This is where I want to go, I believe. Yes, yes, this is where I want to go. And now we have the red eye skeleton. Which, here's the thing it's all a trick. Don't worry about the skeleton. What you want to do, you came here. With the one purpose, and that's to get that item behind him. So what you want to do, say what's up to the skeleton. Say hi, how you doing? Right? <laughs> fuck that noise. Grab your prize. And just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> don't mess with him. Don't, don't look at him. Don't say hi. He's not your friend. We're not friends. And we're going to keep it moving. Pat yourself on the back. You now have an item that can take you to big places, see big things. Not only that, but you walked away with some fucking soul. Did I just the power of the soul, no? I do. Then touch the demon inside me. I will. With your consent, of course. Soul of the mind, the key to life. Alrighty. I like to put my endurance up. Thank you. All right. Now, you can do yourself an amazing favor and equip the Crescent Falchion. Say hello to the Crescent Falchion. It is a nice free plus one weapon. Yes. Yes, plus one. It's also an enchanted weapon, I believe. So it has magic properties, which makes it wonderful. Look at that. Got your two hands. Right. Got a running strike. Two handed running strike. One hand. Boom. 
Amazing. Love the Crescent Falchion as it loves you. Now, with that said, I'm gonna run on over here. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on you. I'm gonna put away my rapier. I'm not gonna need that. Still gonna keep my cow list, right? You have a heart of gold. Uh, it's I want you. Trade your souls. Where are my items? So now we have we'll two choices. Around. Well, we have infinite choices if you really want to be like that. We can either head to one two, Voltaria Act two. One uh two one, thanks to mines. You know part one. And if you want to, we can head to Tower of Latra, but eh, I'd, rather, I'd rather not right now. The other two places, maybe we just took a nice look at the uh, Land of the Heroes, Land of the Dead Heroes, or whatever the fuck. And I don't want to go to shit town. So, <clears throat> these are only two options. I think, he thinks, that heading to Voltaria Act 2 would be kind of fun. Because it's not that long, and the next boss isn't that hard, I think. Also, I just want to get Ostrava's bullshit out of the way so I don't have to worry about it. Okay? So, let's test out our wonderful Crescent Falchion that we now acquired. Alright. Look at that. Major improvement. Don't forget, it's a plus one weapon. Beautiful. Right? You can get that shit for free. Now, if you ever need to level up a couple of times, you can run around, kill enemies, and grind. But, again, it's going to take forever, so let's not do that. Um, actually, let me see something. I don't think shouldn't be able to. Not yet, anyway. Get down. Oh, shit. I gotta keep in mind that you guys blend in so well. God, I love this Crescent Falchion. This thing can carry you for, like, a long time. You can, like, complete, like, three worlds with this shit. I mean, you can take it to the end of the game if you really want to. It's that good of a weapon. This one and what's it called? The Dragon... Uh, Dragon Bane Sword? I think? I think that's what it's called. Okay, so this is still locked. So our world tendency isn't, you know, high enough yet. Which is fine. As long as you killed yourself in the Nexus, your world tendency won't be touched if you died, so... If you die in here, so don't worry too much about it. Alright. Time to head on to Act 2. You're in Act 2. The Lord's Path. It's literally just a straight line. First of all, be mindful of the phalanxes. Oh, shit. And because you now have a magic weapon that has this wonderful, like, diagonal swing to it, you know, hitting the phalanxes head on, not too much of a problem, right? Just, again, be mindful of the durability of your weapons. You can check out the durability of your weapon by just, you know, looking down the corner right there. That little red bar next to your weapon, it'll go down over time. So just be mindful. But for the most part, you don't have to worry about it. Be mindful of it, but don't really worry about it. You know what I mean? Like it's there, but it's not really too much of a hindrance. So much to the point that makes me question why the fuck even have it there in the first place. Thought there was an item on Put it in your mouth. Little phalanx. Again, be mindful. Enemies love to blend in. Now, I'm trying to remember if mimics exist in Demon Souls. 
And I think the answer is no. Oh wait, are there even chests in Demon Souls to like open? Yeah, I think there's like a chest or two. Hmm. Well, I thought there would be another phalanx around here. I guess I guess not. Balsha makes quick work. Alright. Once you're done clearing the area out. Head over here. in by enemies. Could you assist me one last time? Clear out the soldiers blocking this passage if it please you. The Lord's Path, just over there, is now a feeding ground for dragons. Have your wits about you. So, Astravo's over here. He's all like, listen, I kind of got myself in this corner. I need you. That person is useless. They are. All right, but we want to help out Ostrava. He's not the coolest, you know. He's not even that cool, to be honest. He's not, you know, he's not no soul lair, right? But we want to help him out. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. So, remember earlier when we had a wonderful bridge? With a wonderful dragon on it. Well, here you can see some charred corpses and a long ass bridge. You can hear the roar of a dragon in the distance. Oh! <laughs> so say hello to your main problem in this area the dragon. And your main goal is to reach the end of the bridge, really. Not that hard, right? Not that hard. Just make sure that you pay attention, you time it, and you go for it. I think I might have fucked it up. But whatever you do, don't stop for these items. They are a lie. They are not your friends. And then, once you're done with that, you can walk on out here. Stab this fool up. Is this guy. The hell out of these people. Right. And remember earlier when I said there's an area of the game in which you can just deal with the dragon and kill it if you so please? Say hello to said area. Where if you take out a crossbow boat, a bolt, crossbow, and its bolts. Or if you use magic arrow, and if you're good at aiming like me, you can hit this fucking dragon and just sit here all day and do it. Right? See? Like so. Right? And you will kill the dragon, get its soul, and the dragon will no longer be a problem to you. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna fucking do that because I got better shit to do with my life. But, um, you know, you can do it. Do it if you want. Right? There's also other areas in the game where you can kill the dragon, but this is by far the easiest. Um, let's see. But it's very time consuming, which is why you have soul. It's why you have soul arrow. This is why we have soul arrow, guys. This is why we have soul arrow. Right? Now, if you don't like staying up on that bridge, right? you want to take a nice, more fun, easier path to, uh, whatchamacallit? To, uh, you know, to the castle gates. The gates of Castletown. You can head under here, you know, under the bridge, and take your ass there. Or you can help out your boy, Strava. Now, remember... He said that he was kind of pinned in by a shit ton of enemies, so be mindful of what he says. <laughs> Motherfuckers did a lot of damage on me, god damn it. But this is why we have the crescent, what the fuck? 
die, bitch. This is why we have press and dash, and oh my god, you guys hit, like, really hard. <laughs> Jesus. That's also why we have Soul Arrow. This is why we have Soul Arrow, guys. This is why we have Soul Arrow. Look how fucking strong that is. Even the Crescent Falchion didn't one-shot these guys. Well, now it did, since I'm using the heavy attack. But you know what I mean. Now, be mindful. Because there are some... Oh, actually, it's not in this area. It's further down. This is lonely. Yes, it is. The Lion Knight carcass. Thank you. That's or cure enough. ass. Time to forge ahead. This is a token of my gratitude. Please accept it. Guess what? You saved the Strava. Again. Guess what? Make sure he doesn't die. Again. <laughs> So you want to go ahead of Astrava here, right? I'm not sure what his range is of, like, wandering around like a fucking idiot. But, uh, whatever it is, you want to make sure you're ahead of him. So, I think he might just walk down the entire length of the bottom portion here. The bridge. So. go look at it guys look how difficult it is oh my god demon souls it's so hard oh fuck it's so difficult right i want to point out i haven't played demon souls in in like a year or two year and a half so if anyone's going like, well, that's because you, you know what you're doing. It's like, it's like, you're right, but at the same time, not really. Because it's still kind of like this. My first playthrough around, the only difference is that I didn't have the Crescent Falchion. Or, or Soul Arrow. Right? Once you come down here, you're going to see this sickly man. You're going to want to hit him. Don't. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling them? Now, what's really fun about this is that this guy is actually in the first area of Boletaria, and I completely forgot to go that route, so you know what? I might... I should head back and go do that. <laughs> Brave knight or lowly fodder, the demons snatched their souls regardless of their station, plummeting them all into madness. And those who dare cling to their humanity were hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> oh, buddy. The big uh, wizard thingy. The king led it back to us along with those wretched demons. That monster leaves a trail of charred carcasses. Which is great for business, of course. But unless you're a scavenger like me, you'd better stay clear. <laughs> it is the end of Great Boletaria. Okay, great. That's health. all he has to say to us. Cool. He has some items you can buy, right? Weapons and stuff like that. And eh, don't buy any of these unless you need, like, you know, a crossbow or something, right? And some bolts for it. As for, like, the armor and stuff, you really don't need to buy any of this shit. I don't think he has any like key items that we need, right? So. Hard times, eh? I'm sure he'll turn. But that's pretty much it for him. Now, I'm actually what I'm actually gonna do right now because I completely forgot until I literally just saw him right now. I think I'm gonna head back to the first area, the Boletaria, even though shouldn't, you know, for time's sake. But. I feel like I'm doing a disservice to like not show that area off. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep going this way. Oh, here he is. Hi, Strava. Yeah, he walks down the whole entire length of this area. 
So make sure you clear it out for him. Especially those fucking dogs. Oh man, if Ostrava gets to those dogs, you're fucked. Right? So just make sure Ostrava doesn't die. What do you want to do? Our glowy golden boy. Now, getting back is going to be a little difficult because that fucking grab is too. Have your fucking number. You know what? Fuck it. That was dumb. That was bad timing. And I'm definitely going to get hit. Oh shit, <laughs> I almost did a dumb dumb. Just in case. Alright. Alright. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> Say that, bitch. Alright. I felt good about that. Now, two things we can do while we're while we're back here. We can first of all, we're gonna head down to that area that we completely missed, and then I'm going to do 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 hey. And then I'm going to check out the area. There we go. Are you all just jumping down the scene? Jesus. I'm gonna clear out the not clear out. But I'm gonna see if I wanna fuck around and find out what that red knight. Answer is probably no, I don't, but there's the Felchin. Turtles count them off. One, two, three, four turtles. This is, yes, this is where we met Ostrava. <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Sneezing like a kitten. Over here is an area with barrels. A little oil. Ow! It lingered. It's not good. All right. Yeah. Really, that hit me still? Alright. I think you get ambushed over here. I'm not sure. Oh, you're a little bitch. Alright, this is the area that I completely just forgot about. Kinda just want to go through here, pick up whatever I miss, and also want to show you guys something that you might run into in your first run around here. So, roll over here, and when you get in here, you'll see... Remember that sickly man we just talked to at the bottom of the bridge? This is the first area that you'll meet him in, right? And, of course, roll through the barriers, because last thing you want to do is go slashing through them, walk in here, and slash, and just cut his fucking throat by accident, right? That's the main thing I really wanted to show off over here. Um, we have another room full of barrels and fire. Really? Hmm. Okay, and over here, this leads over here to where we were at before. That's pretty much the only thing I really wanted to show off. Was it that important? 
Probably not, but for my own sanity and for the sake of just, you know, making sure you guys don't fuck anything up. <laughs> for the sake of being a nice, a nice let's player, right? Also down here, I didn't, I didn't pick this up, I guess. Beef ring. Beef ring makes us quiet, right? Which is actually really good. Uh, thief ring. Oh, by the way, carrying the rings, they don't have too much item weight on them, so don't worry too much about it. Becomes harder for enemies to detect. Yes. So basically, it reduces the sound that you make. You know, whatever, whatever. And it's a pretty good ring to have if you're not rocking. If you're not rocking, like, the magic shit. Alright. There we go. Slice you up. Right? The thief ring is pretty good for this area too if you're trying to clear it out. You know? It makes it easier to backstab him. Especially when you're walking slowly. Like this. You start swinging like a madman. Bring it on, bitch! Time to get our asses out of here. Oh, I didn't see you. Damn it. That attack animation is like the worst because it just flails around and it's meant to just ruin your day. Slice you up. Let me just go pick up. They drop. Broken swords. Alright. This leads us back up here. Which is before we hop down there to grab the thief's ring. And we should. Ow. Oh, I forget. You guys hang up there. Yeah, they ambush you here if you go this way because they hang up there. Damn it. Alright. Now the last thing I want to do while I'm in this area, because I'm pretty sure, again, I'm pretty sure there's nothing behind that character, but I just want to check. I want to fuck around with the red-eyed knight after I get rid of these bozos. to look super cool there. Alright. Walk in here. I think there's a guy in the corner, right? Or some bullshit? Nope. Alright. Uh, late moon grass. Do I have? Yep. Rest in the moon. Alright. This is why we have soul arrow, guys. This is why we have soul arrow. Now, here's the black eye knight. Very strong. Very strong. Oh, very strong. I can take him. <laughs> I can take him. Right. Time to commit. Time to commit. A, because my souls are down there now. Super reckless. Mine resin. Now we're 
back up here. Oh, I thought you were gonna run into me. Boom. Now. Ooh, that's sharp stone. Sharpening stone. Do 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 do. There we go. Oh, fuck. We're still alive. One of the things I actually want to do. I want to equip this for extra defense. So that when the uh, red eye knight comes uh, kicking my ass, you know, I love how your souls are there now. Because he's like, come on, come get your souls, buddy. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Press and fashion, motherfucker. Oh, someone's stuck in the corner. That's why we got soul arrows, bitch. And what did you drop for me? Full moon grass. Thank you. Now, what is our reward? I don't think there is one yet. <laughs> this man had a job. He failed at his job. Right? Unknown hero soul. And this one. Yeah. This is so easy. Right? No, it is easy. Open. Oh, but you can't. Oh, man. And I think, I think that's one of the reasons why people think Demon Souls is like, it's so hard. Because they spend forever trying to kill the Red Eye Knight when they obviously don't have, they have, you know, you, you can do it, right? But like, when you're obviously not ready for it, and then they kill it, and then you get nothing out of it. And then they go, oh, this game is so hard. Why is this game so hard? I will say, some of the challenge from Dark Souls definitely comes from, like, some of the bullshit that we'll have to deal with later. Mainly due to the, uh, to the, uh, world layout. Like, the level layout. But, in terms of the enemies, for the most part, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. You can get over it. It's not that hard. Alright. Stop fucking wasting time. Right? Messing around over here. Do -do -do -do. I got 5,000 souls. I can actually go level up right now, and I might as well just do that since I'm right here. This guy's fighting the phalanx. Alright. And touch the demon inside me. I vitality's not really gonna help that much. Uh, I kind of just want endurance up, right? I want to get that up to twenty. It's good. It's usually good to get your endurance up to twenty, right? Before you uh, commit to whatever the hell. I am. May thy strength help you. Oh, good day to you. I can forge weapons for you. Air my equipment, please. Thank you. Do come back alive. And Thomas? Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Thomas, I would like for you to take these rocks off of me. What? Oh, no, my bad. Where's the inventory catalyst? Wooden catalyst? So. I don't need the wooden cup. Broken sword, don't need that. Yeah, keep 
these fucking rocks off of me, Thomas. You have a heart of gold. Thank you. Back to Act Two. Now, hopefully, Estrava isn't getting himself killed right now. That'd be very lovely. Oh! This is what happens when you, when you start getting reckless. You start being me. You start being stupid. Let me stop using my fucking. Ow! My late moon grass and use my half moon. No reason for me to be using my late moon. Late moon is the big one. The big heals. I love how I have <clears throat> I have this wonderful buckler that's actually really good at blocking shit. But I just opted, you know, I completely opt to just like block things with my face. Alright. Drip stone. Item up there. Let me go grab it. Boom, boom. All right. Head my ass back over here so we can hopefully get to Estrava before he gets mauled by dogs. In case he's like sitting in there. Come on, Dragon Boy. Oh, here's the dragon. I hear you. Dragon tail, dragon tail, almost got dragon tails. Come along and take my hand. Let's all go to Dragon Land. <laughs> you guys remember Dragon Tales? All right, let me run my ass down here and make sure Strava's not getting fucking wrecked. Oh! What on earth are you doing? What do you think? What I'm doing? out here swinging at shit. <laughs> Strava, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Came here to make sure you ain't get yourself killed. I'm about to kill you myself. Where you at? Oh. Slice and dice. Oh! Good thing dogs can't backstab you. Just gotta make sure they're gone before Strava gets fucked up. Fucking sit down, Scooby. Alright, this guy's down here. He's all good. Now I just gotta head down there and clear the way out for Strava so when he decides to turn around and walk back, he doesn't get a bunch of arrows in his fucking knees. I, j I just realized I did an arrow to the knee joke without even... Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Without even trying. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Wow. Wow. Astrava, where the fuck are you? Let me put my shield up so I don't start swinging at things. <laughs> oh my god, Astrava, you did not fucking turn around and get. Get snuck. Where did he go? Strava, you did not run upstairs, did you? 
Strava. Oh my fucking god, this idiot. I swear, this fucking moron's got himself killed. You're not up here, are you, Estrava? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought we were allies. <laughs> oh! Be up here and do something fucking stupid. You're lucky you're tanky. <laughs> lucky you can take a couple of hits, Strava. You're lucky, man. You're lucky. Down here. Where is the exit? Oh, here it is. Oh. I saw someone get hit by something. What am I using? Half moon. Yeah, half moon. Okay, walk on here. We got these fucking dickheads. this grass in my face. Come out here and immediately turn around. Because these guys aren't safe either. So, just want to bait the dragon. Okay, so the dragon starts there. Great. So, kind of head to the edge of it. Just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Alright. Now. Walk up over here. Just be mindful that there's archers above you. And there's these guys. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh god. That's the part I always hate. <laughs> Cause there's archers there and you gotta get rid of the ones in front. You gotta get rid of the ones in front pretty fast. Now I gotta fucking make sure Strava doesn't get himself killed again. God damn it. And this is why we all hate Strava. And when Solaire shows up, everyone rejoices. Because Solaire, does, you don't gotta actually protect his ass. If anything, he protects you. Come on, dragon. Hurry up, dragon. I started that run late. I started that run late. I started so late, but now I gotta commit. Now I gotta commit. Oh, shit. Time to go save Estrada again. <coughs> Why am I full of sneezes right now? Well, at least Ostrava can handle the uh, 
the couple of archers down here, right? Because that's him right there. Yep. Got it, Ostrava. But I highly doubt he can handle these fucking dogs. You know what? I actually want to clear this out. Like up top here, because he likes to wander here too. Oh my god. <laughs> the dude's reloading right in front of me. He's like, come on. Got some bolts. Walking past the Strava yet again. guy and then here comes the dogs time it give myself some brass in my face my god you blended in the background sorry puppers didn't mean to do that. Well, I did mean to do it. Left me no choice. Alright. Just like that, we're good. Come on up here. These guys. That's why we have sword. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Alright. Those guys are taken care of. And now the only thing to worry about is where I died. Come on, dragon boy. Come on, dragon. Rock the dragon. What the fuck, dragon? Come on. Get some stamina back. This is also where the thief ring would help out so you don't accidentally aggro that guy while you're fighting. And my souls, it's time for you. There we go. Late moon grass. Alrighty. Now the only other thing to do is to head up here. Have your shield up. Ah, oh, crystal wizard. Fuck it up. Oh, you're still alive. Crystal lizards have rare, wonderful rare. Uh, items, stones, ores that you can use. This is why we have so much. 
Yeah, but uh, when you see those little crystal bastards, you kind of want to kill them as fast as possible, but they will also, uh, you know, they will, they will get away from you, but they will also lead you into very dangerous situations. You kind of want to cut them off, or if you notice them before you enter an area or get too close to them, you can kind of pick them off with uh, ranged stuff, but you gotta be like really good and you better hope that that motherfucker gets stunned. If they don't, then um, they're gonna run away. Now, it's not the end of the world if you can't kill the crystal wizard. I mean, most of the fucking weapons people use and shit. Can I break these shoes? I just one of these were here for a reason. I think the only reason for this area to even be here is for the crystal wizard. You know? Because I think... There's nothing over here, right? Not crazy? Yeah, no, it's just these guys. There's no, like, lever to pull or anything. No. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we're good. Isn't there, like, a door somewhere? Oh, yes, here. It appears to be locked. And we can't break it. Um... Either a key or there's like another entry point to it. I kind of forget, honestly. I think there's another. Up on down, that's most assuredly death. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think you need a key to get in there. And I think Ostrava hands you the key after you save his ass for the third time or something. I don't remember. But anyways, pat yourself on the back. But more importantly, get ready for your next boss. Say hello to the Tower Knight. His main purpose is to be big and menacing and very scary, and to hit super hard. But guess what? First thing you want to do is ignore him. Run your ass up here. Start dealing with these jackasses. Also, be mindful because once you're away from the Tower Knight, he has his own soul arrow. <laughs> so, ow. Be very mindful of that. But for the most part, oh god, stop shooting me, god damn it. For the most part, as long as long as you're not completely out in the open, right? Like that, you'll be good. So just make sure oh fuck, I got stuck on the sides. But just be mindful where you're at in relation to his his uh heal the vision oh shit I'm gonna die yep I'm gonna get hit by that I knew it I felt it I felt it coming this is also a good spot to hide out here if you need to um, but yeah, the main threat that comes with this fight is not the Tower Knight himself. It's actually the jackasses that protect him. Well, not protect. More like prov uh, provide support. Cover fire. And I like using my own soul, soul arrow on them for the sake of not being out in the open. Now, once you get down there to fight the Tower Knight, be prepared. 
for not the hardest fight, but a fight that's kind of eh, unconventional. So, come on. Just want to make sure that there's no other guys up here, right? Oh shit! Nice read. All right. So once you're down here, Tower Knight, he's gonna want to fight you one v one. Tower Knight himself, he's big, he's slow, but he hits pretty hard. So. What you want to do is watch out for that, and you want to, like a fucking chihuahua, gnaw at his ankles. Right? Locking onto this- oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> Locking on in this fight can both help and hinder you. Oh shit. And you gotta watch out for your shockwaves. Now. Oh! Damn it. And you gotta make sure you don't get directly smacked. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. That was my last, uh, the last bit of iced tea I had in that cup. All right. So. For the most part, Tower Knight here, he's going to be fucking throwing shockwaves and shit whenever you get too close. So it's good to learn, you know, patience and to, you know, get in, get out rather than, come on, dragon, rather than uh, do what I did and try to slice him up while you're in there. You know, patience is key. Sometimes, patience something that we don't have <laughs> like me now if you can get at a good angle you can also soul arrow his body. god damn it that's such a bad angle to start at you're gonna want to like you know you can soul arrow his ankles but that's only gonna last you for so long until he turns around and you've gotta come back in. So, I'm not gonna worry too much about Strava right now. However. I'm actually gonna run on this part of the bridge, which is a stupid idea. Covered by enemies. Dragon's about to fuck me up. Yep. And I lost my souls. <laughs> Don't worry about losing your souls, by the way. Yeah, heading downwards was the smarter idea. I want to see if I can do it fast enough, but nah. Because now, now the game has become fuck the rest of the enemies, who cares? Get your ass to the boss as fast as possible. Right, and just smash your head on the boss until, you know, until you, until you do it. I should have waited for the dragon. 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 Hmm, dragon talk forever. Right. <laughs> Strava, if you die, it's your fault. At this point, I can't protect you all the damn time. But with that said, I'm still going to have to fight these fucking dogs. Which is the worst part about it. Wow. All those swings I missed. Oh, they're going to fuck me up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. <laughs> And this is when Demon Souls slash Dark Souls becomes quote unquote hard. Is when you start losing patience. Then you start making mistakes. And honestly, I just I just don't like those dogs. <laughs> There's just so fucking many of them. 
And I don't like sitting there just like slashing away at them. Like I can use soul arrow, I guess, but then it just leaves me open for the next dog. So I guess, you know, I guess I'll just block it. I'll block the doggos, the puppers. I'll block their attack this time. Oh, you came out your corner this time. Yikes. Oh, what do you got for me? Press some move Thank you. Retrieve. God, crushing the is so fucking useless. This is also why we kill ourselves in the Nexus, so this doesn't affect World Tennessee. Uh, I actually want to see because I might need some for the fight. Do you have any grass to sell me? Crescent, Half Moon, for four hundred a pop. All right. Hard times, eh? Through these guys and their archer bullshit. Oh wow! Completely. Oh no, he killed. He killed some of the other guys, I guess. I don't know where those souls came from. Dear God, please don't tell me that soul came from Ostrava. And I guess I'll fight him and get him out the way. Oh, wow. What do you got for me? Late moon grass. Actually worth it. All right. Put my half. Take out my catalyst. And just go for it. I'm waiting for him to throw a soul arrow. There we go. Greater Soul Arrow, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. Yeah, and as long as you're not out in the open, you're pretty out, you're pretty solid. Ouch. 
just get the last guy. There we go. Now we're ready for the Tower Knight. Think so, right? Oh no, this guy's still here. Dodge. Beautiful. Just want to see what this is. Bolts. Alright. Head on down here. Alright. I'm going to put my shield up. Give myself a little bit of protection. He's going to go for a second. Boom. One, two. That. I want to kind of go for the, uh, the right side. Ooh, careful of that. Doing it again. I just kind of want to beat him a little bit. There we go. Learn about invincibility frames, kids. Oh. Nope. I got tricked. I thought he was going for the. Yep, I thought he was going for that. was in the perfect range for that. Should have watched out. Back off. Right, let me start going to the other leg. It's more difficult for me to get. Worth it. Hmm. Invincibility frame. He tried to stomp on it. Alright. Once you get at his ankles like that, you're then free to hit his head as much as you want. And then... Congratulations, you took out the Tower Knight. Wasn't so bad, was it? Iron Demon Soul. Let's take a nice victory read. Da, 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 da. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's in your items. There we go. Make sure you don't use it now. The soul of the Tower Knight Demon, a source of great power, consumed to gain blah 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 blah. Great. Alright. Now, you have this fog gate up here. A thick colorless fog holds you back. Only those who have slain an archdemon may pass beyond the point. You may be thinking to yourself, what the fuck is an archdemon? Well, archdemon is pretty much the big head honcho of the area, right? So sadly, we cannot progress through Volataria at this point. But hey man, we took out two bosses. 
Congratulations. All right. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I was worried sick. All right. Do 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 do. Uh, make sure. Oh, oops. Here you go, close. I'm also gonna be putting in soldiers of lotus because this is for poison, I think. These are for poison, and we're not gonna. I'm gonna put in the sharp stone. There's really no reason for it. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Don't need it right now because we're not getting people. Stuff, blue eye stone. Oh wait, actually, what is stone of the thought? I think that I think that gives you your body back. Eye stone crumbling has power to restore one's core. Yeah, okay, it does. So it's basically a human effigy, right? Uh, or humanity. I call it. Um, do 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 do. Keep all my grass. Our stone shard. Which uh, what again? Shard, the one arch stones found, cross lineage, transport. Oh, yeah. Basically, homeward bones. Uh, age spice. Consumes to replenish a large amount of MP. Never really need that. All the MP. Oh, yeah. This fucking soul remain bullshit. Don't need it either. Times equip. Can't be stored. God damn it. I gotta unequip it. Throwing knife. Telescope. You can use the telescope to like help you aim shit, but you know, at the end of the day, care. We are indebted to you. Hey. You fight on our behalf. Oh, Soul remains. I was worried sick. I was worried sick. I was right next to you. I ain't going nowhere. Get rid of these stones. The item. Buckler. Talisman of God, this is for doing miracles, which I'm not going to be using. Shortbow, don't care. Alts, don't care. As for a wizard, don't need it. And the rings you can keep. We are indebted to you, but you fight right. on our behalf. All that stuff we did and look at the durability of the falchion. Still up there, still pretty good. I can forge weapons for you. Actually, you know what? I can tell you're not going to last long here. Shut the fuck up, because I told you no. Oh, look at her. She's having fun with her little her little titsies. Yelling, dee -dee 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 -dee. She's the best. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Yes. Then touch the soul of the mind All right. into life's ether. Oh, uh, soul of the lost, withdrawn. Put a durance. I said I was going to put a durance at 20. I'm still not sure if I want to go strength or dex. I think I might want to go strength. I think I want to go strength. How many level ups do I get? Okay, well I got enough to bring myself to 20, which is good. So, let's do that. Intelligence, I'm not going to touch. Strength, well, strength is the lowest, so, you know, usually having, like, strength and dex both at, like, 12 or 14, I forgot what it is, usually lets you equip most things, so bringing strength up isn't a bad thing. Okay. I keep the candles lit and serve the book. Keep the candles Art lit. Thou finished? I am finished, thank you. What the hell? Time for upgrading. Something trade your souls. I'm not gonna upgrade shit because I'm not committing to anything yet, but I will repair my back alive. I need your business here. All right, Mbasa. Have you heard if you are attacked by a demon, you will lose your humanity? What a horrible thought! Just what would happen then? I simply cannot fathom it. Mbasa, Mbasa, <laughs> Mbasa. Umbasa. Oh, Umbasa. Oh, fellow disciples. Oh, nothing. Okay. I see. I pray we meet again. Shut up. Oh, you? 
Oh, nothing new. I don't think anyone has anything new for me. I don't even think there's like a new person to hang out with. Anything. Let me see. You got anything to say since I killed the... Oh! Astrava's here. Well, I'm impressed. Yes, indeed I am. Stay the path. And you will soon be a monster yourself. <laughs> Can't you see? You've fallen for their trap. I love how he's actively trying to make you to stop playing the game. That's pretty cool. Alright. <clears throat> Hi, Astrava. You're not dead. And he will be safe here in the Nexus forever and ever. Before the Blight, Volataria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. I have spent much time in my studies in the cultured countries of the South. Yet no country holds my heart as does Volataria. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Man, that sounds like it sucks. Here in Volataria, we speak of the legend of the two swords and the solitary hero. The two swords are demon brand and soul brand. One sword banishes that which befouls man. And the other banishes man himself. The solitary hero is old King Doran. King Doran is the everlasting one, founder of Volataria and protector of the two swords. <laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, sometimes legends are all we have. Anything else? Uh, what's your name, Astrava? King Alant led Volataria with a round table of the bravest knights. The noble twin fangs, Valapax and Bjor. Alfred, the tower knight. Bjor. Oh, man. Metas, the penetrator. <laughs> There's already a character named Bjor. Damn it. I named myself Bjorn. Bjorben Forben. But today, Volataria is an abysmal mess. Valapax was lost. And Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Volataria, are either devoured by the fog or fallen afoul of the demons. The Volatarian knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. All right. Is there anything else? But perhaps our age. Okay, nope, that's it. Dialogue done. Cool. Woo! Alrighty then. Well, you know what? I should have. Should have repaired my my items after after I killed myself. Um, before we do anything, oh, oh I also want to check up here because people will start coming up here at some point. Not now, but at some point. I think people will start coming up here, right? I'm like that. Um, want to head back up to where? The sentinel, sentinel. Well, they are technically sentinel. Uh, what were they called? The, the um, the something, something. <laughs> Starts with an M. The monk people. I forgot what they're what they're officially called. Monumental. There you go. Thank you. Uh, want to check on the monumentals? Well, the singular monumental. Did I go too far? I think I went too. Far. Yes. Because once you come back up here, I believe... Oh no, you're still alive. The monumentals pay. I'm a short-sighted king. Hmm. At some point, I know when you come back, these mother... Spoiler, this motherfucker will be dead, but... Hey. Now there's also items over here that we... Can grab. That I kind of want to do. So... Huh! <laughs> It was a lie! It was all a lie! Uh. Alright. Well, anyways. I can sit here and waste your time and grab those items, or I can just do it all screen. But anyways, um... <clears throat> or maybe next time. Who knows? Who cares? But, we are coming up on time for the stream. So, 
this is going to be the end of this session. We fought two bosses. Basically, didn't get to the end of Baltaria, but for now, got to the end of Baltaria. Next time we come back to Demon Souls, Demons and Souls, Demon Souls, Demon Souls, we are going to head to the Stonefang Mines, right? We're going to fight the boss over there. We're going to, I think we're going to complete the Stonefang Mines, maybe, right? I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to complete the Stonefang Mines. There's no reason not to, right? Because you can just straight up do it. So, that's going to be our next uh, objective, right? The fuck over the stone thing mines. And what else is there that I want to say? Okay, yep. <clears throat> Remember, on the screen, see my Twitter, my YouTube, my Twitch. Check those out if you're interested, right? As for YouTube right now, uh, finishing up the rest of the, uh, not, well, finishing to upload, can't even fucking speak, uploading the rest of the great Ace Attorney playthrough, that should be done by, by, like, the end of this week, uh, when it comes to Pokemon Hey You Pikachu, I just gotta record, like, one last little snippet for it, and then upload the final part. And then for Persona, once I'm done uh, uploading the Ace Attorney stuff, I'm going to go back to uploading the Persona streams and stuff like that. So, you know, get those out the way. As for the next playthrough coming up, you know, continuing the Pokemon Marathon after after uh, Hey You Pikachu is done. And probably finding something else to play for uh for you know the spooky times right halloween even though halloween is like like what two and a half months away but because of my schedule i gotta start early so you know we can have something there for halloween but uh yeah that's pretty much the plan right now as for twitch you know next stream more demon souls it's on the schedule if you like what you see on my twitch Right, please leave a follow. Um, leave a follow. Right, fucking. If you want to make it possible for me to be able to stream more, right, and at better times, you know, stream more frequently and at better times, please subscribe to the Twitch channel. If you got a Twitch Prime, if you have a Twitch Prime or whatever, you get a free sub. You can hand that to whoever you want, no additional cost to you. And then. I think that's pretty much it. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed it, right, please leave a like and a comment. It helps out tremendously. Like, even, like, it's not a joke. Even, like, the one like or comment or whatever helps out tremendously. It really does. And it gets more eyes on the channel. So, thank you very much for doing that. You know, if you enjoyed it. Uh, what else is there? Over on Twitter, you can follow me there if you're just interested in, you know, follow me on Twitter. And if you ever want to send any, like, fan art for anything like that, just send the send it over to the Twitter, right? And at the beginning of the stream, I'll put it up so people can see it. And it'll be pretty cool, pretty dandy, pretty nice. I think that's everything I need to say, right? So, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.